Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Cisco and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a business email in HostGator and integrate it with your Gmail account. So if you wanna send and receive emails to your business email from Gmail, then keep on watching. Okay, so we're in the back end of our HostGator account and what you wanna do from here is you wanna click on Launch cPanel. Now, in the back end of our cPanel, what you wanna do is you wanna search for email accounts, click on that, and you wanna come here to where it says Create. Click on this blue button, and now under Username, you wanna select the name or the username that you wanna use. So for example, if you wanna say something like admin, or you wanna use your first name, or maybe uh, a job title, or anything like that, you can go ahead and enter it here. I'm just, I'm just gonna say admin. And now I want to enter a password, okay? So enter a good password that you're going to remember. Make sure to write it down. And now what I want to click on is create. Okay, so it's as simple as that. As you can see, we've just created our business email inside of HostGator. Now what you want to do to integrate this with your Gmail account is you want to go to the back end or you want to go to, to your Gmail account and here in your Gmail account, you want to come here to the little flywheel, click on that, and where it says see all settings, we want to click on that. And now, what you want to do is you want to come here where it says accounts and import, okay, accounts and import, if you can see it, and we want to go ahead and click on it. Now, I don't know why I have this here. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of this. Okay, now what you want to do in here is right here where it says check mail from other accounts you want to add you want to add a mail account so let's click on this and you're going to get this pop-up window now in the pop-up window you want to type in your the email that you just created in hostgator so for me it was admin here we go powerfulaimarketing.com and now we want to click on next now import emails yes next and here in admin, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and copy your, your email and you want to paste it here where it says user. All right, now you want to type in the password that you created. And in pop server, we want to make sure to get rid of this mail dot. Okay, so we just want our uh, domain. Now in port, for port, you want to select 995. And now here we want to check these two boxes. So always use a secure connection SSL when retrieving mail and label incoming messages. So we check those two boxes, click on add account. We wait for it. And if you want to update it, um, that's okay. And now in here, you want to just leave it at that. Yes, I want to be able to send mail as admin powerful and then your, your uh, domain. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to. If you don't want to, you can select no if, you're, if the thing is not to try to send mail, but instead receive. I'm just going to leave it there. Click on next. Now, for the name, it depends if you want to leave your name or change it. I'm leaving my name, and I want to also leave this checked. Now, click on next step. And right here, SMTP, you want to make sure to get rid of the mail dot. And in the port, let's select the port. So we want it to be 465. Now for user, we want to paste in our complete email address and password. We want to go ahead and type in our password in here. And we want to say secure connection using SSL. So this is the one that you're going to leave checked. And then you add account. So it's checking no thanks and what you want to do now is you want to go back here to your um to your um check mail from other accounts and what you want to do is you want to check mail now click on that and sometimes what it says is um fetch fetch mail now so either one just click on that and now as you can see it says one mail fetched Oh, do apologize for that. So one mail fetched. And now you go to your inbox, and inside of your inbox, you should have this Gmail confirmation. Click on that, and 
it's your choice if you want to click on this you can also um, verify it by clicking the link I prefer to just copy this number and when I go back to my little pop-up box I paste it in there and then I click on verify so that's it now my Gmail has been verified and what you can do as you can see right here we have it admin powerful AI marketing.com and if you wanted to write someone a, a message from this one email then what you would do is you would go to compose and then in the drop down you would just select the email that you want to send it from and that's pretty much it I hope you got some value from this video if you did make sure to click the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell icon so you get notified anytime I drop a new video Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.